Hello, happy December. Um, this is going up a little bit late, but welcome or welcome back to Reads of an Apple. My name is Stacy, and I'm here to talk about the books I would like to read in December. Now I'm still in a funky movie moving situation. <sighs> Things keep falling through and or other people keep getting chosen before me. So I don't know how much time I'm going to have to read. Never mind the fact that we have Christmas coming up and I really need to get working on getting my Christmas presents finished. I try to make presents every year. Um, and I'm behind where I would like to be, but I've kind of simplified some things so I can start churning things out, but I actually need to start working on things. So I may or may not be picking more audiobooks up. I also am uh, participating in Vlogmas this year. So uh, check out my uh, playlist up there. Several days are already posted. And I am going to aim to do 24, 25 days of holiday novellas. But I can't guarantee that all of them will be holiday because I might burn myself out but we'll see what happens I got a, I got a good mix of holiday subgenres. <sighs> but before we get into my actual TBR here um I also probably really or what I would like to do is also try to read especially towards the end of the month get a lot of sci-fi and paranormal especially more sci-fi books read so I can have enough to fill out my end of the year brackets so <laughs> we'll see what happens who knows I might try to pick up some audiobooks so I can do those while I crochet but I'm behind on some of my podcasts so I've been doing those instead so who knows or I might just put on usually I crochet to Hallmark movies but since I don't have real TV anymore I don't really have them and so the movies that I will be watching will probably just be narrowed down to my ones that I watch every single year but let's get into my actual TBR here so, oh, oh my, my goodness I am sorry she is sitting underneath me and I just accidentally touched her tail and we are having issues over here. Are you lonely? She wants all of my attention, I guess. Okay, so first off is Rake Appreciation Society. This will be on December 14th and the book we are reading is The Bride's Necklace by Kat Martin. This is the first in a trilogy by her. I have not read Cat Martin before. I'm very excited to. I have quite a few of her books for the step backs. Um, I don't know if I have this one or not, but I most likely will be getting uh, this on either audiobook or ebook. Both are available through my library. Um, and then the other book club I try to always do is the Smart Women Read Romance exclusive Patreon review. The theme for this month was anything and the poll has not gone up yet so I don't know what's <laughs> what's it gonna be. Usually that one's towards the end of the month so whatever gets chosen I will be reading that then. Then we have the SJM along. So for this month, we are finishing Throne of Glass and we have Kingdom of Ash, this honkin' book. The live show for this will be on December 18th and it will be on Rachel Reads and Sings channel. And I'm excited and I'm nervous and I don't know how it's going to end. <sighs> And I know that there is a lot that's going to have to happen in here. And yeah, but I'm excited to finally get back to Aelin because poor Aelin has been under freaking Maeve's hold since the end of Empire of Storms. And then we had to go with Kale. But I'm excited to see how it ends, but it's also kind of sad that this is the end. So I need to hopefully get going on that one soon. And then 
I would also like to catch up in the Assassin's Blade before I pick that up. I still have the final two uh, no prequel novellas to read, and it is The Assassin and the Underworld and The Assassin and the Empire. So that's the last two is this portion. So I would like to finally read those last two prequel novellas before I read Empire or not Empire, Kingdom of Ash. And maybe that'll help kind of re-prepare me for Aelin. And I want to get these read before I read that. So since these are novellas, they would work perfectly. And you know what? Even though they're not holiday, they would also work good for my Vlogmas. So I might just do that, read two of those for two of the Vlogmas days. But we'll see what happens. Um... So there are those. Now, other things that I have going on, I've mentioned it uh, in last month's TBR, um, Buzzing About Romance is a podcast. They also have a website in their bookcases and coffee, and they're doing a Clear the TBR event that goes through the end of the month. Um, so I have been participating and it's basically any book that's been on your TBR for some of them are more than like one of the things says 30 days or more but everything else says 45 days or more but basically no new releases and there are a couple group books but I was planning on trying to read some of the group books but I don't know if I will end up reading them. I read I've only I only read one for the month of November because I just have too much else that I would like to do. But one of the books that is a group book is The Bet by Max Monroe. And this is the first book in one of their newer series. And I have been wanting to read this book since before it came out when they first started kind of teasing it. But I just haven't had the chance to pick it up. I like Max Monroe. I have enjoyed most of the books that I've read from them. So I definitely am interested in picking this up, but this is a, we'll see where I'm at when it gets close to this needing to be done. Um, the group discussions for these, they're doing on their Discord. So definitely check out all their information. I'll, I'll link their website down below for sure. And this, the discussion is, so it's on their Discord and it's usually sometime during the afternoon. So I'll try to pop in at work and at least say one or two things to count it for the TBR. But but last time I participated, I just commented when I got off work and people were still kind of chatting. So, but this is also on December 14th. So the same day as Rake Appreciation Society. Um, and then a couple other things. December starts Winter's Kiss. This is a seasonal reading challenge hosted by Shelby Taggart Reads. I do, I have been taking part in her reading challenges for almost a year and a half now. So this will be my second time doing Winter's Kiss and I'm very excited for this. This will run from December 1st through February 28th. There are three different bingo boards and a lot of them are winter or like holiday kind of based, but I feel like she does a good job of where like winter or in holiday books will very easily meet a lot of these prompts, but you don't have to read winter or holiday books to complete most of these. So that I have that. And then the only other like reading challenge read along I'm doing is I am a member of the Goodreads group Romance Readers Reading Challenges and back in March of this year I joined the Yahtzee yearly challenge so every month you roll your five dice like you're playing Yahtzee and whatever roll or goal you end up meeting is your prompts for the month so I do need to do my rolls. I will grab my book here 
and then we can look at it. So I only have a few prompts left. The last month that we will be rolling is, in, is next March. So what I have left are fours, fives, Yahtzee, and chance, which is nice because the chance can hang out. So let me grab my dice. And then I'm going to get my book prepped so I can make notes of my rolls here as we go. Okay, so I will pull out my five D6s. Alrighty, so I've got my five dice, and let's do our rolls. And normal Yahtzee rules um, apply, you can roll up to three times. So, roll one. So, four, five, or six four fives Yahtzees or chances. So I rolled a one, a two, a five, and two sixes. The two sixes makes me want to try for the Yahtzee. Two, three, five, six, six. Okay, we'll do it. We'll try for a Yahtzee. We'll see. We got close last time. Good luck, good luck. I just rolled six, six, five. <laughs> we just need one six. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Ah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. I can't believe. And the five was my silver. Okay, come on, Silver, come on, Silver. Give me a six, give me a six, give me a six. It's a one. Well, alrighty. And so this will be going into chance. Oh, goodness. So... This will be a new to you author. Now there are also alternatives, so I could choose to apply this to my four or fives, but because I didn't meet that challenge and it would like go into my score as a zero, there is an alternative prompt that they put on the forum every month, but I'm just gonna use this for chance. So this will be December 2022. And the prompt for chance is a new to you author. So that's perfect. That will be easy to meet technically because I'm filming this on a couple days into December. I've already met that, but I'm just going to use my next new to me author. And since I have a bunch of um, holiday novellas I would like to get to, there's at least a couple more new to me authors that I will be picking up. Alrighty, so there is that. Um, before we kind of touch base on some new releases I would like to get to, there are a couple books that are kind of higher up in my priority. And the first one is The Nine Lives of Christmas by Sheila Roberts. This book is what my favorite Hallmark Christmas movie is based off of. The Nine Lives of Christmas is also the name of the movie. I watch it every year. It's one of my favorites, so I definitely want to try to read this. It is a little bit shorter. It's only, it looks like about 240-ish pages, so I would very much like to get to this. It's not quite a novella, but it's like that middle ground, but I definitely want to try to get to this one this year, especially since I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to watch the movie. I have it on DVD, but it's in storage right now, so... This is a really want to read. And then I have Claire Kingsley's new release, How the Grimp Saved Christmas, or How the Grimp, How the Grump Saved Christmas. I've heard some, I've heard some good things about this. It's definitely not, from what I've heard, it's not like blow me away like the rest of her Bailey's Brothers books are, but that this is very much like Claire Kingsley in Hallmark. Christmas movie form. So I'm very excited to read this. This cover is so freaking cute. 
and I love Claire Kingsley so I would definitely like to get to this as well and I think the audio for that one is out as well so I might try to get that one and then for a more kind of clear the TBR, I also still need to read Rewriting the Stars. This is book six, the final book in the Baileys Brothers series. Next year we're supposed to start getting the Havens Brothers. And actually this book and How the Grump Saved Christmas like overlap timeline. And so, because that one is set in Tillicum, which is the small town that this one is set in. But I finally need to read this one. This one's a chonker. It might not happen till towards the end of the month, honestly, when I can kind of free read a little bit more, but we'll see what happens. These aren't have to reads, these are want to reads. And then, so I just chose those three because I tried to kind of give myself a lot of leeway, and I have a bunch of holiday novellas I'm also hoping to kind of pick up. But those I'm kind of leaving at random and what I'm in the mood for. And then the last couple things I'm going to mention are some new releases. Um, only one of these I see myself really reading right away, and that is Sneaking Around with the Player by Rebecca Jenshack. This is the second book in her Holiday with the Players duology, and each book is based on, a, or each heroine is... Um, it's twin sisters. So the first book was Holly's book and this is Stella's book. I actually just read the first book. It came out in October but I read it for Vlogmas so definitely like I said check out my Vlogmas stuff to hear about the first book but this comes out December 6th and I'm excited for it. It is new adult and the twins older brother is a high school or not high school college quarterback and she is dating or in a relationship or wants to be in a relationship with a boy who's on his like the rival team to their brother so there there's going to be some like tension about that and I'm excited for it also coming out on the 6th is What You Gonna Do by Avery Flynn. I do have this pre-ordered. I'm a big fan of Avery Flynn and this sounds super cute, super fun, paranormal witchiness. The cover's super cute so I'm super excited for this. And I've had it pre-ordered forever <laughs> so I don't even remember much about what it was. Um, and then the a third book that is also coming out on December 6th is Anastasia by Sophie Lark. I'm very excited for Sophie's take on fantasy romance and Anastasia. Anastasia has a special place in my heart because that is my name, Anastasia. I just go by Stacy. And this one though, I gotta be honest, I probably won't pick it up this month because it's 850 pages. And I love Selfie and I want to get this to this book but this is a 2023 book because I don't have time to be adding another <laughs> almost a thousand page book to my TBR this month. But I'm excited for Anastasia and would like to get to it soon. And then another book that I may or may not read this month but that is because it comes out December 30th is Golden Hour by Jenny Bunting. She actually just released the cover for this and this is the third book in the Finch Family series. This is Jackson's book who's the eldest brother who's like super grumpy and very quiet and has had some sort of tragedy tragedy that's like super secret and like the readers don't know but everybody in the town and his family knows so I'm just like what happened and he the family owns a brewery and I guess there's going to be a lot of stuff with like rescue dogs and and rescue charities in here which I'm excited for and it's going to be grumpy sunshine age gap so and he's going to be the older one and it'll be some young sunshiny gal who is working for the brewery in their tap room and her name starts with an s i think but we met her in the previous book and she is very bubbly and happy so i'm, I'm super excited for this one but like i said it comes out december 30th so <laughs> I might spend the 30th and the 31st cramming in other books to kind of round out 2022 however I need to for what I have going on for my yearly stuff. 
so I probably won't get to this until January, but who knows? I might just do a reading binge all day New Year's Eve. We'll see what happens, but I usually also do three TBR prompts, but I only got one done last month, and with how much is going on, I'm not going to do those. I've got a bunch of other stuff going on. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to meet them. My three prompts that I usually try to do is a new to me author, an author um, I'm working on their backlist for, and continue a series that I'm that I've started. So, I mean, the novella that I'm in, currently reading right now is one of my backlist authors, and I've already read a couple new to me authors, just not one that I've chosen to pick up and I'm sure I will end up if I do end up reading this one this one will be a continuous series I need to finish so we'll see what happens but I just didn't pick anything specifically for those on top of whatever else I have going on but yeah, I think that's all I have for you. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're excited for any of these books, if you've read any of these books, if you have any holiday novella ideas for me, or other fun sci-fi novellas or paranormal novellas, because I'd like to try to get, like I mentioned, my brackets as full as possible for my end of the year, figuring out my favorites. And let me know what you're excited for that's coming out in December, in case I haven't heard of it yet. But let me know down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what to do, and I will see you all very soon. Mm -hmm.